Hello beautiful people, hope so you're all having an amazing day because I am having an amazing day. So today we are going to cover our very first category of function. A function with no arguments and no return value. In the previous tutorial, uh, we covered uh, the uh, basic overview of function categories. So in this tutorial, we will go deep down to the function uh, with no argument and no return value. So let's move ahead. First of all, we will see the basic syntax of uh, void functions. So let's move. Uh, the prototype of void function a function with no arguments and turn value will look like this. Void is the a function type. Larger is an identifier and uh, there are no parameters present. Instead, void is written here. Uh, if you don't even write uh, anything here, you would be okay. Here is the function call. Larger is present standalone, standalone and here is the function definition void is again the function type or return type you can say larger than identifier and no parameters present in that inside and everything is present in statement whatever function you perform in so today we are today we are going to perform two examples uh, of the very first is for beginners and the second one is for a bit uh, a bit advanced programmers so let's move towards our video studio first of all is the okay is the preprocessor directive and uh, I'm actually doing the first example in which we in which we will uh, show the statement which will be present in the function and here's the using namespace std and int main I'm just writing right now the basic syntax and here's the return statement system the system and was this is the basic syntax first of all I'll write the prototype and our function name is uh, let's say do have done because uh, we will show the statement uh, do have done using white function so our Again, thing it could be your name or whatever, but it should be related to the function. There is nothing inside, but I can also write void here, but I will not write. Okay. Again, the function I'm writing the function call. There's the prototype. There's the function call, and here's I'm writing function definition. So, here's the function body. So, what I'm going to write here, I'm writing do I love do dev done. Okay, but I'm not sure you people like or not. Tell me in comments, okay? So if I run this program, so put the terminators in the end, and uh, let's run the program. I should get I love dude I've done, okay? Okay, we got it. You can see I love dude I've done. Uh, here I am not returning any value I'm just showing the statement and also I'm not passing any value through parameters so now let's move next uh, move towards our example uh, check whether string is palindrome or not using white functions so I will just move back to the basic syntax again today uh next our function name would be palindrome 
no parameters to write prototype and function call uh, in this and here is the function call identifier palindrome here we go and writing this is okay now the basic function starts in which uh, I will uh, input or get string from the user and we'll check whether the string is palindrome or not um, in the few in few tutorials back I also uh, did this palindrome uh, alone palindrome tutorial if you want to get a proper uh, concept you can also review this but right now I'm doing this in white functions I will have to I'm just actually doing uh, maybe I'm not going through the whole concept again and again okay so let's declare a variable here of uh, name value which it should be character because I'm paying string of uh, size 20 and also ask the user enter value god knows why i always write comma instead of this greater sign okay this and check the size of this string and save it into third variable name length it could be in anything however string length is a predefined function which gets the length of string uh, however in the uh, of that string whose variable would be present in the parameters place so right now our parameter is value so here we go and we will run loop of till the size of this uh, string and if actually the palindrome if you don't know palindromes are those who uh, who are quite similar okay I can go through the overview of this in which in which we um, which reads actually which reads exactly same both in forward and backward okay like for example I say madam because if we read in the backward direction we will get the same result uh, or uh, madam madam I madam read same okay this is the example so now let's move to Regio studio if it reads same again I'm saying if you want to get the concept do watch my uh, the previous tutorials on palindrome maybe I would not be able to be more clear right now because I'm just focusing on this function It will go and land. Oh, so I don't talk too much. <laughs> I'm using flag here. If flag turns to 11, then the statement will break. However, I have to initialize it before anything. Flag should be zero. Do the indentation. And if flag remains, uh, if flag remains zero, then it will say the number is palindrome. If it uh, turns to one, then it will say it's not palindrome. It is palindrome.
else if flag remain one it will say not palindrome here we go and where is my okay now you can see that uh, I am just uh, using the function with no return value and no parameters. Uh, okay, now let's run this program and I write string madam. Okay. Oh, hello, bro. What happened? Oh, I'll, uh, sorry, guys. Sorry, really, very sorry. I just wrote the data type here wide instead of writing in standalone now write it again run it again i write madam here yes it is palindrome however if i write let's say america it is not palindrome it is still palindrome However, it shouldn't be. What happening? Okay, no problem, guys. Actually, I am myself a student, so time to time mistakes keep on happening. However, things would be much better if you write suggestion in comment box. Yeah. Not palindrome. We got it. Thanks, God. <laughs> America is not palindrome so here we go uh, I'm not using again overview this I'm not using any return value I'm not passing any parameter I'm just calling the function here it performs the that procedure which is going through through in this function it calls and the function performs in procedure performs in and the control goes back to the function call so here we go guys if you like my tutorial then don't forget to subscribe for more videos more daily videos and don't forget to download my C++ quiz application to increase your knowledge and this is the C++ quiz app and for Java student here's an other app link of both apps would be in comment section again thanks for watching like always, peace.